Hi everyone. Welcome to the first video in the course. In this video we are going to discuss methods other than finite element analysis available. There are actually three methods. First is finite difference method called FDM. Second is finite volume method called FVM. Third is finite element method called FEM. Let's first discuss about finite difference method FDM. Finite difference method where we can use finite difference formulas at evenly spaced grid points to approximate the differential equations. This way, we can transform a differential equation into a system of algebraic equations to solve. This approach has several advantages. First, complicated geometries are supported through the use of unstructured meshes. Second, the variational form supports straightforward and stable implementations of many of the standard boundary conditions. Third, it is often possible to rigorously analyze properties such as stability and accuracy. FDM have lost grounds both in software and as a research subject. Similarly, as the use of high-level languages have become the norm in programming. Second come finite volume analysis. The finite volume method, FVM, is a discretization method for the approximation of a single or a system of partial differential equations expressing the conservation or balance of one or more quantities. The main issue is the discretization of the fluxes at the boundaries of each control volume. In order for the FVM to be efficient, the numerical fluxes are generally conservative, i.e. the flux entering a control volume from its neighbor must be the opposite of the one entering the neighbor from the control volume, consistent i.e. the numerical flux of a regular function interpolation tends to the continuous flux as the mesh size vanishes. It is sometimes possible to discretize the fluxes at the boundaries of the control volume by the finite difference method, FDM. In this case, the method has often been referred to as a finite difference method or conservative finite difference method. The specificity of the FVM with respect to the FDM is that the discretization is performed on the local balance equations. Rather than the partial differential equation, the fluxes on boundaries of the control volumes are discretized, rather than the continuous differential operator. Third and most used in the industry is finite element method. How does FEM work? What is the primary driving force? The principle of minimization of energy forms the primary backbone of the finite element method. In other words, when a particular boundary condition is applied to a body, this can lead to several configurations but yet only one particular configuration is realistically possible or achieved. Weak form one of the first steps in FEM is to identify the partial differential equation associated with the physical phenomenon. The partial differential equation, or differential form, is known as the strong form and the integral form is known as the weak form. Once the integral or weak form has been set up, the next step is the discretization of the weak form. The integral form needs to be solved numerically and hence the integration is converted to a summation that can be calculated numerically. The weak form can now be reduced to a matrix form. Once the matrix equations have been established, the equations are passed on to a solver to solve the system of equations. Depending on the type of problem, direct or iterative solvers are generally used. We have had a very basic and complicated idea of types of solving techniques being available. But why finite element method has emerged as the most used one in industry? A finite element method, FEM, 
discretization is based upon a piecewise representation of the solution in terms of specified basis functions. The computational domain is divided up into smaller domains, finite elements, and the solution in each element is constructed from the basis functions. The actual equations that are solved are typically obtained by restating the conservation equation in weak form. The field variables are written in terms of the basis functions, the equation is multiplied by appropriate test functions, and then integrated over an element. Since the FEM solution is in terms of specific basis functions, a great deal more is known about the solution than for either FDM or FVM. This can be a double-edged sword, as the choice of basis functions is very important and boundary conditions may be more difficult to formulate. Again, a system of equations is obtained, usually for nodal values, that must be solved to obtain a solution. Comparison of the three methods is difficult, primarily due to the many variations of all three methods. FVM and FDM provide discrete solutions, while FEM provides a continuous, up to a point, solution. We will now move ahead with FEM only and see different parameters of it like discretization which is also known as meshing. Discretization of continuous system with infinite degrees of freedom to a finite degrees of freedom which is called as meshing. We will move towards solving equation in FEM now. Thank you.